What's up folks, David from DoD Media. Today I'm going to be showing you five essential After Effects keyboard shortcuts, which are going to save you heaps of time. You're not going to be reaching for your mouse to do stuff. You're going to keep your hands firmly on your keyboard and save a ton of time that way. All right. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, go ahead and load up After Effects. I'll be using my MacBook Pro today because I've got a big export happening on the PC. Don't want to disturb it. Okay, shortcut number one, which you need to know, is Command or Control D to duplicate an item. Done. You're going to be duplicating items all the time in After Effects. It's probably the thing you do the most in After Effects. It's a little bit like Photoshop. You, you constantly work off duplicates of the same layer or you want to blend it in a different way, that kind of thing. You want to edit a certain part of the layer. So knowing how to duplicate something super quickly is going to be a big time saver. You don't want to have to be going up to edit each time and coming down to duplicate. That's just, it's just a massive time waster. So, Command or Control D to duplicate your layer. Keyboard shortcut number two, changing layer selection without using your mouse. This used to drive me nuts because when I started with After Effects, I would try and change layers by doing, you know, using the up and down arrows and it didn't work. So immediately I reached for the mouse and I, I went into this pattern of just always reaching for the mouse to change layers without thinking to myself, what's the keyboard shortcut for that? And I've, I've just spent so much time changing layers with my mouse and I'm ashamed to say like probably a good five six years later I decided hmm what's the keyboard shortcut for that so it's control or command up or down on the arrow pad and that way you can just select different layers without moving any of the layers in the composition perfect keyboard shortcut number three add a keyframe to the transformation property of layers so position scale rotation opacity uh, even mask path by pressing Shift Alt and the letter that you would normally do to get to that property. So Shift Alt P will add a position keyframe where the playhead is. Shift Alt S will add a scale keyframe where the playhead is. If you have a mask on a layer, you can do Shift Alt M and it'll add a mask path keyframe to that layer. Pretty good. Tip number four, which is the way to do it. I forget, I've seen Inglorious Bastards, but I don't remember which way is the right way or the wrong way. Is there a right way or a wrong way? I don't know. Tip number four, and this is one of the biggest, biggest ones that everybody seems to do, is they reach for their mouse to move a keyframe on the timeline. And that's just a huge, huge time waster. You're just spending time trying to figure out exactly which keyframe you want and all that, and you click on it and you're dragging it and it doesn't go the right way and it goes too far, not far enough. Instead, just move it straight with the keyboard. To do that, you just hold Alt or Option and the right or left arrow key. Super simple. Super nice. If you want to go by 10 frames instead of one frame, you hold Shift, Alt, and then the arrow key to the left or the right, and it'll jump 10 frames. Pretty nice. And the final keyboard shortcut, keyboard shortcut number five, is to go to any time in the comp with a very quick shortcut. Instead of dragging the playhead to a certain time or going up to click in the timecode uh, window box and then typing in your timecode, it works, I guess it's the same number of steps, except that you're not using your mouse to get to it. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is Shift-Alt-J, and that will bring up the Go to Time panel. Now you just type in, say, if you want to go to 7 seconds and 21 frames, you type in 721. Go, bam, 7 seconds, 21 frames. It's super simple that way, If you're especially if you're working in dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects, it's a, it's a really nice way of just getting bang onto the time without wasting time dragging a playhead along. And there you go. There's your five keyboard shortcuts to make you faster in After Effects. If you didn't know these, I hope they help you. If you did know these, then good for you. Uh, recommend other ones that you think are vital for After Effects users in the comments section, and you might win something free from my store. Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Shh.